There are so many voices about leadership and leadership of change. I like a man who can call it maybe a little of lunacy. <laughs> Professor Fenwick English from the University of Carolina is upstairs. Let's go and ask him some questions. Fen, thank you for chatting with me. You're welcome. Why should we think about leadership using metaphors and maybe the arts? I think metaphors make you think again about um, an activity you thought you might know something about. And uh, they uh, give you uh, an alternative view, provoke you to rethink what you, uh, how you characterized a particular thing. So if you uh, say leadership is uh, actually a form of acting, uh, even people that were doing it maybe weren't aware that that's what they were doing or thinking about it. And so they come back and think about that again. Well, if I'm acting, um, what does that say about both leadership and about what I think I'm doing? You know, am I acting? Am I serious? So I think it's a provocative way to think about any kind of human activity. And provocative in, I think, a creative way as well, rather than one where I think there's already leadership has got so many judgments sitting. We've got standards in Australia that leaders are being held accountable to. I think for me the metaphor is a more generative way of thinking about leadership. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. um, it's um, a, a way to think out of the boxes and um, I have great trouble with the uh, skill list for leaders because it represents a perspective that uh, eliminates a lot of what leadership is about. It's more than just um, having certain kind of competencies in this or that. It's more about uh, the total human being. And as part of being a leader, a total human being, uh, the, the idea of the leadership as dance, you've also got the leader as working with the follower. Do you, you use the language of followership in your work? Well, without followers, there wouldn't be any leaders, would there? Because, yeah. you know, one is... Um, dependent on the other. And I think when you look at uh, um, leaders and their relationship to followers, there, there are times when followers become leaders for leaders because they, uh, it's not a, a relationship to a teacher to the students, your teacher, your students sometimes teach you. Yeah. And I think uh, leaders learn that from uh, followers that, um, and they learn to listen to what uh, followers need and I think there's an uh, exchange and an interchange between the both of them. Something that's dynamic, something that's um, productive and something that I hope as learners in this module you're going to learn a lot from Fen. So thank you very much for chatting to me Fen. Oh you're welcome.